Hello everyone, and welcome to Pet Adventure TV. Today, we're going to be discussing skinny corgis. Corgis are known for their adorable short legs and fluffy fur, but some corgis may be thinner than others. This can be due to a variety of factors, including genetics, diet, and exercise. In this video, we'll discuss everything you need to know about skinny corgis, including what causes corgis to be skinny, how to determine if your corgi is underweight, what to do if your corgi is skinny, tips for feeding and exercising your skinny corgi, causes of skinny corgis. There are a few different things that can cause corgis to be skinny. One common cause is genetics. Some corgis are simply born with a thinner build. Another common cause is diet. If a corgi is not eating enough food, or if they are eating a diet that is not nutritious enough, they will lose weight. Other possible causes of skinny corgis include parasites, thyroid problems, diabetes, cancer. How to determine if your corgi is underweight. If you're concerned that your corgi may be underweight, there are a few things you can do to check. First, look at your corgi's body condition. You should be able to feel their ribs, but you should not be able to see them. You should also be able to see a waistline when you look down at your corgi from above. Another way to determine if your corgi is underweight is to weigh them. You can find a chart online that shows the ideal weight range for corgis based on their age and height. If your corgi is below the ideal weight range, they may be underweight. What to do if your corgi is underweight? If you've determined that your corgi is underweight, there are a few things you can do to help them gain weight safely and healthily. First, you'll need to make sure they are eating a healthy and nutritious diet. Feed your corgi a high-quality commercial dog food that is appropriate for their age and activity level. You may also want to supplement their diet with fresh foods, such as cooked chicken or fish, and vegetables. Another important thing to do is to make sure your corgi is getting enough exercise. Exercise will help them to build muscle and gain weight. However, it's important to avoid exercising your corgi too much, as this can lead to weight loss. If you're concerned about your corgi's weight, or if they are having trouble gaining weight, you should talk to your veterinarian. They can help you to determine the underlying cause of your corgi's weight loss and develop a plan to help them gain weight safely and healthily. Tips for feeding and exercising your skinny corgi. Here are a few tips for feeding and exercising your skinny corgi. Feed your corgi several small meals throughout the day instead of one large meal. This will help to keep their blood sugar levels stable and prevent them from getting too hungry. Offer your corgi high calorie treats, such as peanut butter or cheese. You can also mix kibble with canned food to make it more appealing to your corgi. Avoid feeding your corgi table scraps, as these are often high in fat and calories and low in nutrients. Take your corgi for regular walks or play sessions, but avoid overexerting them. If you have a skinny corgi, don't worry. There are a number of things you can do to help them gain weight safely and healthily. Just be sure to talk to your veterinarian first to rule out any underlying medical conditions. Thank you for watching Pet Adventure TV. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more pet-related content. See you next time.